Hello. Hello and welcome to UOC TV episode 5, the TV show from the students for the students. My name is Finn Edstreet. And my name isn't Finn Edstreet because I'm a different person. I'm Paul Kemp, how are you doing? And coming up on today's show. We head down to Ambleside to see the Brathay Trust charity. We've got an interview with the creators of a brand new dating show, Pick Our Mix. Our resident film buffs Chris and James review Paranormal Activity 4 in our new segment, We Like Films. Should hate speech be protected by free speech? I asked the students at Fusel Street Campus to see what they think about that. And we get a few minutes with radio big wig John Myers. And first up we have the Brathe Trust Charity. That's absolutely right. Now, we sent a film crew down to Ambleside to film the going-ons at the Brathay Trust. This charity has the mission of improving the life chances of the younger generation. Yeah. It's rather sweet. Yes, and do you know, Paul, I'm just, I'm just curious. Um, do you support any charities? A couple, you know, Great North Air Ambulance, Children in Need. Wow, Some, yeah. wow. Yeah, I'm quite impressive, impressive like that. Moving on, anyway. Let's have a look yeah. what happened down at Brathay Hall. Hi, welcome to Brothay Trust. We're a youth development organisation based in the heart of Cumbria, near Ambleside. Uh, we've been here for about 60 years and historically we've uh, done residential programmes for young people from all over the UK and more recently we started doing community-based uh, youth work, youth development work. provide youth development so we do something that's not quite education and not quite youth work um, so we take young people and we work with them where they're at uh, we uh, meet a range of needs through personal development providing them with challenging experiences uh, we really help them develop secure relationships with people we help them uh, learn how to communicate be self-confident and have self-esteem we help them work out who they want to be and what that will look like in the world We've been involved today with doing some marketing to make a message for the work that we do so that it's more young people friendly. It's gone really well. The young people have been incredibly creative and they've worked brilliantly together as a team even though many of them haven't met each other before. Uh, they've come up with some excellent ideas and have really brought to life uh, what Breathe does and um, created some fabulous films and projects which we look forward to seeing in the future. We've used quite a lot of creative stuff to do that, or the group that have been here today have. They have um, used puppets and done some role play and some drama uh, and some masks and worked with some art students from Cumbria University and also uh, film crews from, from Cumbria University. So it's been a really great opportunity for them to really try something a bit different. It's a really exciting place to work because it's so innovative um, and it really does help young people who are potentially really vulnerable. And if you're interested in giving the Brathay Trust a hand, then don't hesitate to go on their website, www.brathay.org.uk. I think the link should be somewhere around here. Now, a random question, Paul. Mm -hmm. How was your love life? Uh, oh, stop asking me these questions, Finn. They're really uncomfortable. Well, you know, so uncomfortable. I think I have, I've got, I've just got the perfect thing to you, actually, because university students mm -hmm. are launching a, a brand new dating show called Pick a Mix. I'll just give you that. Oh, yeah, wow, this sounds really one. interesting, And uh, we just happen to have the two founders of the dating show in the studio, so please give a very, very warm welcome to uh, Rueda, Sado Osman and Laksha Bantawa. Yay! <laughs> Welcome to the show, ladies. Welcome. So, uh, first up, can you please just tell us what the show is about and what your roles are in the show? I am a co-producer and the set designer for the show. And I'm also co-producer and I'm the director as well. And we can kind of gather it's it's a romantic show by the, this very lovely leaflet, but could you give us, give us a, the flavour of the show? What's it about? Well, it's basically about students looking for love. Mm -hmm. So we want to make it sort of like a blind date sort of feel to wear. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have one main female contestant who, like, all the guys are trying to go after and get, mm -hmm. but they're not going to know how she looks like. So they're going to be, like, just answering questions and trying to get her attention. And then at the end, she's basically going to pick who she likes. But then when she sees him, if she doesn't like him, she can mix. It's and like then a basically, gamble. Yeah, like a gamble and then go for someone else. What will you say is the... Um thing that sets your dating show apart from dating shows I can watch in day-to-day -day well, TV? Well, ours is obviously all students, all the contestants are students, so 
audiences, you know, you can really like connect with the contestants because like, you know, we're all in the same boat, trying to look for love, yeah. obviously. Are we all? Are we all? Are we all, yeah. yeah. So uh, how many contestants do you say over there? Three. 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 Yeah, three really handsome hunks, like yeah. really hot guys. <laughs> and a very, very beautiful lady. If there will be a couple by the end of the show, have you got something planned for them? Are you sending them off of on a holiday? Of course. Um, yeah, the star prize is they've got a date to Nando's. And, um, or it's a picnic in a very romantic atmosphere, or there's a very mysterious prize. A mist can we have a clue as to what that is? You can't say um, mysterious. Vegas. <laughs> yeah, Vegas. it's in one Vegas of the envelopes, but, Nando's. you know, yeah. 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 Wow. Well, I'd, I'd prefer Nando's to Vegas. It's too seedy um, a Vegas. You know, I'm really interested. Where did the idea come from? In first year, we had a TV module, but we did more of a magazine show, and I've always thought, Oh, why didn't we actually do a dating show this year when like we pitched it amongst ourselves we were all like really hyped up especially the girls we were like no we, we want to do we want to yeah. do a dating show period that's it when, when are we will be able to see it um that's going to be on tuesday the 27th of november so it's like in a couple weeks so if anyone wants to um, be in the audience just you know email me on rosmann at hotmail.com <laughs> 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 and then we can basically, you know, tell you where exactly it's going to be, but it's going to be at Brampton Road, so. I'm really looking forward to it, even Same though here. I'm not allowed to be a part of the show, but you oh, can't have everything in life. This is <laughs> being the you, audience. Seriously, you, can be you guys in the, got us deliberately like, just to, like, you know, for revenge, didn't you? Yeah, exactly. Can I say I'm not bitter, but he is. I'm not bitter. I'm just a little bit resentful. Uh, anyway, no, I'm joking. It was very, very lovely to have you on the Thank show. You. Thank yes. you very much Thank for coming you. down to see it. It was... Very nice. Very nice, nice to have you, ladies. Pleasure's all ours. Thank you. Thank you. Laksha and Ruwain, everyone. <laughs> now, up next is our newest segment, We Like Films. Ooh, I'm so excited because it's films. I love films. Now, our resident film buffs, Chris and James, are reviewing Paranormal Activity 4 this week. Now, I can't watch them because... I, I, I haven't even watched one. I, I, I stopped it, too, because I watched two, and I did a little wee in my pants. It was that scary. So let's check it out. Hello. Hello. Uh, welcome to We Like Films. I'm James Norfolk. And I'm Chris McGeorge. Hello again, Chris. Hello again, James. That's introductions out of the way. This week we are talking about Paranormal Activity 4. Paranormal Activity, the fourth one. If you track it chronologically rather than the order the films have come out. So it's like these, three. Yeah, these little girls have, one of them has an imaginary friend who called Toby. called Toby, who is a either a bad ghost or a demon. Yeah, he, so Toby haunts the family, the stepdad records it, turns out, oh no, grandma's a witch and has a coven, yeah. and they're trying to exchange riches of the promise that they'll give the firstborn son to Toby so that Toby can inhabit them. And then the rest of the films are tracking what happens there's, when the two little girls grow up yeah, and they've forgotten about that. Katie. Katie and her Katie's, idiot boyfriend yeah. in the first one. I thought the fourth one was better than the second or third, definitely. Oh, yeah. W watching the first one, and to go back a bit now, yeah. the thing I always liked about that is um, they always had a chance to get rid of it because Mika was all like, no, I want to film this, yo. I want to be a filmmaker and... <clears throat> chart this paranormal stuff and then did everything that he was told not to do. So he tried to talk to it, he tried to film it, he tried to use an Uji board and which oh, it then, yeah. yeah. And th so he the did board. everything. The Uji board. Uji, uh, Ouija board. I always say Ouija <laughs> board. It's because it's spelled Uja. I, I know it's Ouija board, Ouija. isn't it? But yeah. I think that's stupid. <laughs> I think how I say it is better. Uh, I think you should probably make up your own mind. Yeah, this one. we're split, think. we can't decide together. Yeah. So, yeah, go see it. Watch go see it, yeah. I've been Chris McGeorge. I've been James Norfolk. James Norfolk. And see you next time. Bye! And if you want to give them any feedback on the review, abuse them or tell them how handsome they look, please contact James and Chris. The details shall be below. Yes, and now... We here at UOC TV, uh, we care about your opinion and we feel it's important to get the know-how on what you believe when it comes to the various current affairs knocking yes. about the world. And uh, that's why I went down to the Fusil Street campus to talk to a couple of students about the question, should hate speech be protected by free speech? 
Hello, this is Finn Drew today from the Futil Street Campus and we at UCTV, you know, we're interested in what's going on in the world. So we're launching this brand new feature today, actually going down to the campuses and asking students questions about things that are happening now in the world and we're just interested and what their opinion of things is. Should hate speech be protected by free speech? Uh, I do think it should be, as long as it doesn't break any laws that sort of go into racial hate and things like that. I think, well, everyone's got an equal right to say what they want and be open, but they should actually think about what others may feel. I think everyone is entitled to their own opinion, but sometimes they should keep their opinions to themselves. It's something that uh, is, gives an inferior image to a, a person or a, or a company should uh, definitely not be protected. Freedom of speech should have its limits if you're like a newspaper and you, you, you print a lie or something like that, something malicious that has real world results. I think, you know, it maybe can't quite be covered by free speech. It shouldn't be protected. If you say something that's going to offend a lot of people then it's like your own fault at the end of the day. I think they should have a right to speak but there is a limit to what they say. It wasn't very easy to get students to talk about this particular topic, but in the end, I think we got some very, very interesting opinions. This is Finn H. Street reporting for UCTV. Back to the studio. So there you go. That's their opinion on that. That's fair enough. Indeed. And uh, next up, Paul, you, you're going to like this. I'm going to like it this. It is the John Myers interview. Yes, absolutely. Now, if you don't know who John Myers is, don't worry about it. John Myers is the chairman of the Sony Academy Awards and is also the mind behind such radio stations as Smooth, Century, Rock and Cumbria Zone CFM. Yep. Very impressive. He is indeed. And his brand new book, which is called Team, It's Only Radio, gets in very, very deep with the passion that comes with working in the radio station and promoting a radio station. And we caught up with him at a local Waterstone signing, and he was kind enough to give us a few minutes of his time. So let's check it out. This is John Myers, News at 10 at Waterstones in Carlisle with a bunch of drunken students on a ramble in Carlisle as they try and do some professional work recording what's going on here. With over 30 years of experience, radio executive John Myers is full of stories. I was doing this deal and I wanted to go home basically you know and it was seven o'clock at night and I was getting bored and we were arguing over some of the details of the contract and I decided in the end the only way to do it was to arm wrestle them for it and uh, I got into a lot of trouble with that because my arm wrestle was worth a hundred thousand pounds. Hailing from Carlisle, John Meyer started out at BBC Cumbria before moving to Border Television to help set up their first independent radio station, CFM. Success after success followed for Myers, who has since been described as the biggest name in radio since the inventor, Marconi. Well, I tell you, I've been doing this stuff for so long, you know, and I thought, um, and I do a lot of after-dinner speaking, so a lot of people, you know, doing the after-dinner stuff, people said, John, why don't you put all these stories into a book? So I thought, marvellous, so I'll do that. So I sat down for three weeks and I wrote the whole book in three weeks, and it's, a, it's a really, it's about just great stories and it's all about stories of what really happens behind the scenes. And the first half is really about the, the sheer joy of being on radio or on TV or being a journalist and the second half is really about how business deals are done and how people uh, buy and sell businesses for millions of pounds. We also managed to get a chat with John Myers' publicist, Paul Gar. With an event like this you can't lose because quite simply you get a great profile. You, you people have turned up today, TV people have turned up today as well. Just turning up to me is, is, is the thing to do because it, it gives great awareness of, of the book and the product itself. The book, again, is, just, is, a, is a great read and, and thoroughly recommend to anybody who's thinking about getting involved in the media. Uh, you were recently made an honorary fellow and a visiting professor at the University of Cumbria. Yeah. How much of an honour was that? Well, terrific. You know, I mean, I left school without any qualifications whatsoever. So I am proof that you know you um, you can do all these things in life. Working with the university and actually showing you how to get hired, teaching you the trade, and, and working with people like yourselves of how to make this industry work and the sheer enjoyment of it is uh, is a wonderful thing to do. This is John Myers, News at 10, live at Waterstones for Cumbria University, where the students are the best in Britain. The most talented bunch of students I've ever come across in my whole life. And some of them even get up in the morning, and occasionally there's one or two who've discovered a big razor. 
Wonderful. Some of them are sober. Thank you very much indeed. You're not bad, are you? For 14, you're not bad. <laughs> Cheers, Jeremy. <laughs> So if you're interested in getting your hands on the book, Team is Only Radio, it's out now. So have a gander, go down to your local bookstore, pick it up. It's a really good read, especially when you're interested in getting involved in media. Indeed it is, Finn. Indeed it is. Now it has come to that time of the show where we must say goodbye. But anyway, before you flit off, you little vagabonds, if you're interested in getting involved with URC TV in any way, be it production, marketing or presenting, you know, you can take our jobs. Uh, then don't be afraid to contact us. Uh, one of your representatives here, I'm sure they'll be below our faces. Mm. And, and uh, don't forget to like us, follow us, and subscribe us on Twitter and Facebook. And if you enjoyed today's show, let us know what you think. Use our hashtag, which is hashtag UOCTV. Yes, but for now, it's goodbye from me. And goodbye from me. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye.